It's Amy coming at you from Living Our Best Life. This is part four, Thumb and Louise in Roatan. My mom and her friend Janice and me and Pat, of course. So this video is all about visiting Bowdens. They have an animal sanctuary where they have monkeys and all kinds of different animals that you will see. Here's my mom feeding the white, white face monkeys. Um, they're pretty much as soon as you walk in. Um, I believe now, it what used to be 10, but I think we paid 15 this time to get in um, to do the tour um, to see all of the animals that they're taking care of there. They're all taken care of very well. They get their surgeries and different things that they need. This is a baby. And mom is in the cage. I don't think Janice went into the monkey cage she was like nah i'm out on that one but she did a few other ones as you'll see so there was a guy my mom actually got some really good pictures um you can see the guy right there taking pictures of them while they were um, messing with all the animals come on in now oh, you try to do that again <laughs> she's hiding you I you can get out of here. Don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. Yes, no. Give him my ass. <laughs> now you're shutting me in here. <laughs> Amy! <laughs> Look! <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> So we have a friend, Akram. My mom said, and I agreed with her, that our guide reminded us of Akram. He was really even sweet towards my mom like Akram is. This is something that's something that we would call like our anteater here, but it's not an anteater. They have a different name for it. This is a spider monkey. They are super mean. I kept telling mom, don't get close to them. We got them long arms and them long legs. <laughs> That was the toucan, and then here we are in the macaw cage, and Janice was brave enough to go in here. And you can see that wild and crazy one, he is literally like showing off, hanging upside down. But they are so pretty, the colors are just so bright. So here's one sitting on my mom's shoulder. That's the guy that we said reminded us of our friend Akram. Then I, Janice gets in the cage. Oh. oh, give me another one. Yeah, one hand. I got your video. <laughs> oh, shit. He does yoga. He's doing yoga. Is that what he's doing? Are you doing yoga? I'm not doing that. You should have let him stay on your head. Damn it. Hell, he was full and cold. Shit. Yeah, it hurts. I might be bleeding. That's why I make the flight away. They're heavy. Yeah. It's like he's posing. Take a picture. He is posing. <laughs> uh -huh. Pretty, baby. Oh shit, there's a shitload of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. You don't want to try this, man? Hell no. Oh, Janice, come on. Oh, go ahead. You can't even feel it. Oh, my God. Hi, baby. How are you? Aww. Hey, drop this. <laughs> that one hanging upside down. <laughs> Huh? Next stop was my favorite spot, the sloths. And you think they'd be really soft, but their hair is really coarse. So this sloth actually was a girl, and she had a baby in her belly. So my mom kept thinking that she was farting, but it was the baby moving in her belly. And Janice thought the same thing.
Again, this is my favorite part of going to Bowdoin Sanctuary is just seeing these sloths and holding them. And there's one that moves kind of fast. I might have got a video of him um, and they had him in the cage. Hurry up and get a picture because <laughs> this is kind of... What are you doing? Hugging on you. Love it. He just farted. Did he? Really? I felt it. <laughs> oh, you did. No, I didn't. Oh, no, did. I, no, I think that's the baby one that she's pregnant. There's a baby in there? Mm -hmm. She has I a baby in there? Her, she's kind of scratching yeah. my neck. If I'm mistaken, she's um, a little... Uh, the baby's a little more... She's a little more pregnant. How many months? Eleven and a half. That's how much you take to have a baby. Oh, uh, it take a while. Oh, look how cute! <laughs> Oh, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're putting her to sleep. Is she going to sleep? No. Oh, they sleep 20 hours. She can fall asleep there. Did they sleep? Huh? Did they sleep? Yeah, 18 to 20 hours. And they can fall asleep on people. Look at this one trying to escape. Nah. Look at that one. His name is Alex. No, hold him, Janice. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, that one's moving fast. That's probably the one that tried to take our phone whenever me and Ladon came. I still meant to ask you. you want to hold him? No, I'm good. I can imagine. Done it. <laughs> You've done this like what? Like five times? Ago? The last time we were here, I think this one tried to take my phone. Like he was moving really fast. Alex. I can imagine. Yeah. When, when he's hyperactive, he, uh, he can do things. Yeah, he was like yeah, trying we to take my phone. And... Huh? We were amazed at how fast he was moving. Do you see the one that we call Brava here? Yeah. Brava you would means think their the phone would be a lot uh -huh. softer. So they have a diet just of leaves. They only eat this. They don't drink water. And they only go once a week to the bathroom. The pool. Oh, wow. Well. Little close up picture of that mama sloth. They're so adorable. Mom's really. <laughs> She kept putting like her face in my mom's chin, like in her neck. Too funny. Next part of this trip of part four of Thelma and Louise and Rotan is I reached out to a couple different people and I reached out to um, Nydia after I did not get a hold of anybody. I actually put several messages out and she was the only person that got back to me. So it's just kind of like one of those things when you reach out to the right person and God kind of just has a plan and she had two people, two families in mind immediately whenever I messaged her um, that needed um, food and then come to find out when we went to go meet the people, um, they did really need the food. Like the one lady was praying um, the night before and she said that she just knew that she had faith that God would supply for her and her children and their and her grandchildren um talk about in the midnight hour you know if you have faith uh God supplies he he, he provides and we just have to simply have faith I mean I can't even put it any simpler than that here's me my mom and Janice and the lady um, that the, this is the first family that we went to um, and took the groceries to that my mom bought that'll go a long way there's rice and beans and all kinds of stuff there flour I think there's probably um, masa I like to make tortillas there's a second family that my mom bought groceries for um, and my mom didn't get to go up and meet them because it went, it was like up a big hill, kind of like a little goat trail, to be honest. Um, so this is not the second family. This is still the first family. I didn't get any pictures or videos of them up there, but the lady was on dialysis. Janice had also given me a little bit of cash to give her, and she said she was going to be able to go to her dialysis then because she had that money that Janice had gave her. Janice loved the pool. Um, I think she went up there about every day, and there's a lot of these little red flowers up there that attract the hummingbirds. 
and she took what she thought was a picture, but this was actually on the iPhone, a, a moving video, and look at how perfect this hummingbird is. Absolutely perfect. I want to leave you with this on this video. You know, my stepdad, Kevin, he died um, a year ago, October 6th. And um, it was really a blessing to see my mom on this trip, um, especially when she was giving back to the two different families. Because when Kevin passed away, it took a part of my mom's heart, a part of her soul. And not that she's whole, but it was just a blessing to me as her daughter to see her get a little bit of that glimmer back in her eye, get a little bit of hope back. I mean, she had lost her hope just to even help anybody. And um, it was nice to be able to see that and be a part of that. And um, that's why it's just so important, you know, we're not guaranteed tomorrow to go out and live your best life, whether you're traveling, whether you're with family, friends, strangers, whether you're just going to the grocery store and doing little chores that you need to do to get done. Go out and live your best life. Regain who you are, who God intended you to be.